extraordinary kind of honour really to do this kind of thing. Pressure comes from the fact you want to keep it a surprise. And of course in this day and age it's, it's virtually impossible. You know, all our volunteers will have cameras, you can't strip them of their cameras. We're going to try and make the thing feel as personal and as involving as possible. It was interesting when we got the, every, when we started auditioning the volunteers. Because I think the volunteers, you can see the look in the, the, the volunteers' eyes is that they're expecting to be judged. In fact, what they were was an inspiration to us. They just filled you with kind of like, oh right, refreshment. They were like, they re-energised everyone. We asked the volunteers to come forward from the National Health Service. Because one of the sequences in the, in the evening will celebrate our unique uh, National Health Service. <laughs> be seen by four billion people around the world it would be uh, there'll be 70,000 people live in the event cheering and screaming for them it will be something something to tell the grandkids and something that they'll never be able to never be able to do again it means so much just to get to dance in the Olympics it's like a one in a lifetime opportunity and, and everyone's going to be watching and God knows we might be famous one day the pressure of a live event is delicious actually and that's one of the reasons uh, that's one of the reasons on a per purely personal, egotistical level you want to do this. Because you want to test yourself with the absolute thing that actors do all the time in theatre, which is can you do it on the night? Can you step out there in front of people and present the best about yourself to the world? So that's a wonderful challenge actually, and it's daunting and intimidating, but that's, what, that's how you get yourself up in the morning. For what's been planned so far, I can see a fantastic future for this area. For what this park and what these buildings and these facilities will provide, not just for the East End, but for the whole of London. The shift of the centre is coming east. The team is, is highly charged, it's highly motivated. There is a lot to work to do, but it's going to be a journey that's going to be a, a total thrill, I think, for everybody involved.